Good morning on this Memorial Day. I'm Jeff Michael. Thought we would update you on some of the stories we are working on. Here is the rundown. A man was found dead in a Thousand Oaks apartment on Megan Place early this morning. A woman was found injured and rushed to a hospital. Neighbors there tell us that they've heard screaming and fighting. They heard it around 1 o'clock this morning. Ventura County Sheriff's deputies say they're not looking for anybody else other than the two of those people. <laughs> That'll wake you up, huh? Street racers took over some LA streets overnight with some very dangerous stunts, doing donuts and busy intersections. This one at Olympic and Crenshaw Boulevards, right on the western edge of Koreatown. Similar stunts were pulled off in Hollywood, also in the San Fernando Valley and Van Nuys. Grieving family members, friends held a candlelight vigil and in the Inland Empire to honor a college student who was gunned down at a party. 18-year-old Devon Perkins died early Saturday morning in Menifee. So far, police have not made any arrests. Hey, the LA River Recreation Zones are open for the summer and it starts today. You can now kayak, canoe, even fish from sunrise to sunset, from the Sepulveda Basin all the way down to the Elysian Valley, you know, right down from Elysian Park. There is no swimming allowed in the river, but plenty of people do come to enjoy all the other activities. The season runs from now through September 30th. Now here is Amber Lee with a look at your weather. Hi, Jeff. It's going to be a great day as we head into the afternoon. Once the clouds clear, it's going to slowly clear in the next couple of hours. We're still feeling temperatures in the 50s and 60s right now, but because we have a high pressure system sitting over us, we're going to start to see those temperatures climb up slowly but surely into the above average territory. Right now, we have pretty calm conditions across the board. We do have some lighter winds in Fontana and also for Santa Monica. Again, with this high pressure system, it will pump in more of the warm, dry air, so the warming trend will continue till about midweek. Then we're watching a low pressure system that will slow slowly make its way closer to us as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. This will spin in much more cloud cover and also drop the temperatures down and then it should scoot out of the way once we head into the weekend. 87 will be the high today for Fontana, 90 is expected for Apple Valley, 88 for Lake Elsinore, 82 for Norco, 78 for Walnut, upper 60s for Huntington Beach, 73 for Torrance, 87 today for Northridge and upper 70s for Thousand Oaks. So if you have plans to be outside barbecuing on this Memorial Day Monday, we're looking at temperatures above average, staying like that till about Tuesday. Then by Wednesday, that's when we start to see those temperatures drop. The clouds start to work their way back over to us before we start to see another warming trend on tap for this upcoming weekend. Jeff. All right, Amber, thanks very much. All right, that's it. That's the rundown. Remember, we are always on at CBSLA.com, and we hope you join us for the CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Jeff Michael. Have a good morning.